basketball wasn't Chris Beagler's first love when it came to sports. However, it ultimately proved to be his favorite. So I was a heavy baseball and hockey player. And then my brothers, my two younger brothers, started playing basketball. And then I got involved in church league. And then I didn't play high school basketball until grade 10 because I was playing, playing hockey. And uh, in my last bantam year of hockey, we were provincial champions. And then so then I decided, then we we're going to go change into midget. And then I started playing basketball with my brothers. And anyways, it kind of snowballed from there. And then after grade 10, I was doing hockey and basketball in grade 10 at the same time. And then before I moved into, uh, into senior boys basketball, my high school coach, Ron Ped Pettigrew, said, uh, he says, what are you going to do? Like, you, ha you should make a decision. He goes, because you can do really well playing basketball. So then I just said, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to focus on playing basketball. It wasn't long before the words of Beagler's coach proved accurate. Beagler led the Labolda senior boys basketball team to a city championship in 1981-82 before repeating that feat the following season, along with winning a provincial title. Beagler initially joined the University of Saskatchewan out of high school before moving back to Regina and suiting up for the U of R Cougars for the 1985-86 season. Although the Cougars would eventually rise up to become the number two ranked team in the country during the 1988-89 season, it certainly didn't start that way. Well, the program had been, had basically had never been strong. It had a little blips, but it just had been in the dire straits, yeah. And Ken was brought in to kind of give it a different look. I say more of a college professional look. Ken was a very good university basketball player and he had coached them. And so it was more of a it was more of a bring in somebody who could jumpstart the program, right? And really and change it, have a different perspective on it. I call him I call Ken bringing professionalism into the sport, treating it like not like not like a professional sport, but pay attention to what you're doing, be accountable to what you're doing. These things like practice, how you present yourself, how you travel how you focus, work as a team, right? Like, and project yourselves that it's all about attitude and, and work on your skills and then go out there and show it, right? So that's what Ken has started. And, and that, I mean, that's kind of when, when I finished, that's kind of what we, you know, that we ended that way, right? Beagler had an immediate impact at the university level, finishing second in conference scoring and rebounding in his first season, as well as third in the entire country for scoring. In the following years, he continued to dominate and remained one of the top scorers and rebounders. Beagler received the Mike Moser Memorial Award as the most outstanding male basketball player in Canadian Inter-University Athletic Union during the 1986-87 season. He remains the only player from the University of Regina to win the award. A couple of seasons later, Chris led the Cougars to the National Championship Tournament which was another first for the U of R Cougars men's basketball team. Well, it was like when we went to nationals, like being ranked, and then personally, like myself, and when I won the MVP, the Mike Moser Award for the best player in the country, being a multi all Canadian, I had my number retired. Like it was my personal, but I tie that to my team because it's you, it's team sport, so one person can't do everything. Beagler had his first taste of international basketball in 1987 when he helped the Canadian men's basketball team capture a gold medal at the Happel Games in Israel. Beagler was able to parlay his university success into a contract to play professionally in Germany during the 1989-90 season. Today, Beagler's University of Regina basketball career only remains alive in the record books and people's memories. However, displayed in the Cougars gym is a lasting reminder of the success he enjoyed on the court. He is the only athlete from the University of Regina to have a uniform number retired. It's just, it's just there. It's funny. It's how it's, it's funny how people react to it. Cause I know it's there, but it's funny how other people react to it. Cause this, I sat, I was sitting down there on Saturday and I was talking with a player from another team and just before we warm up for our game and, I was talking about my senior men's league in Ottawa and how we run it and stuff. And then he says, he, he says, oh, you live in Ottawa? I go, yeah, I don't live here. I'm just visiting. And he says, he says, are you that person that's up there? Like, that's you? I go, yeah, that, that, was, that was me, right? So it's just interesting just to see how people react. Installed in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame on September 28th, 2019, 
Chris Beagler.